look to fun. Hello, welcome to adventure. Hello, and welcome to creativity. Hello, and welcome to the Disney Dreamers. Hello, and welcome to the Disney Dreamers. As we all know, Disney Channel has been going downhill these days. They used to have so many great shows with wonderful characters and wonderful storylines. But now, everything's just sort of... Nah. Though out of all those bad shows, there is still one that holds true to the great name of Disney Channel, and that is Gravity Falls. So today, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own journal number three from Gravity Falls. For this project, you don't need too much. You just need a one inch three ring binder that is the color red, yellow construction paper, tan construction tape, paper, tape, glue, a black pen, a red pen, and a pencil, and scissors. So let's begin with the first step. Okay, let's begin by making everything we need to with the yellow paper, which is the six fingered hand in the borders of the book. For this step, you will need a pair of scissors, Elmer's glue stick, or any glue stick actually, um, a black pen and a pencil, and then of course the yellow construction paper. It's a hilarious show with colorful characters and an amazing mystery, and it's fun for all ages. So we're going to make the six-fingered hand first, and to do that we're going to start by tracing with the pencil. And then we'll go over it with pen later. And remember, it has six fingers, so you're going to want to trace your hand and then freehandly draw another finger on the side. So then this is the basic outline, and then you're just going to want to adjust it to make it look more like the one in the show. So now you're left with your full six-fingered hand, and you're going to want to cut it out so you can put it on the journal. Now that we have our six-fingered hand already, we have to make the borders of the front and back of the journal, which are gold, and so we're going to use the yellow paper again. The detail for this is really easy. You just have to put a little dot in each little corner. Now that we have all the yellow stuff cut out, we're going to take our glue and we're going to paste it onto our red 1 inch 3 ring binder and we're going to put ooh, we're going to put the hand right in the front and center. And we're going to put each of these eight corners on the eight corners of the book, front and back. After those steps, it leaves you with a perfect, well intact journal. But if you watch the show, you know that's not the case. The journal gets scruffed up and leaves some of these tan-shaped etchings into the cover. So I've already cut out the shapes that I want to put. These two go on the front and this one on the back. And so I'm going to cut them out and glue them on into their respective spots. This leaves you with a perfect designed journal number three outside binder cover. But the actual journal number three has a couple things on the inside. So to make those two things on the inside, you're gonna need one sheet of paper, one pair of scissors, a pen, and tape. Inside the journal, we're gonna make the property or the property of sign. And then we're also going to make the mysterious note on this side.
We have now finished the binder portion of the journal. So the inside is done and the outside is done. So that gives you a couple of choices. You could either put like a homework assignment in here, you could put your notes in here, you could use it as just a binder, carry whatever you want in it. Or you could do what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna turn this into an actual journal number three. Okay, so to start making the pages for the actual journal number three, you're gonna wanna use a red pen, because there's some writing in there that's red, and there's also black pen marks, and a pencil. The pencil will help with making designs and drawings, so that if you screw up, you can erase it, and then when you're done, you can go over it with pen to make it permanent. So let's start by making the trust no one page. This page is one that's with mostly writing, and as you can see, I just did like scribble marks for writing, where if you want to actually research and look up what the words actually say, you can do that, but I'm doing this to save time, and it's also going to be part of my journal that probably no one will ever look at, so yeah. And now the next thing we're going to do is make a page that has drawings on it, and the next one's going to be the floating eyeball page. And then for the drawing pages, I suggest using a pencil first, and then going over it with pen. And I'm doing the floating eyeballs page because it probably has the simplest picture, and I'm going to do that in front of you guys. Okay. So now that we have these two pages, we can easily add them into our journal, into the three ring binder. You just open these up and put the pages on their respective sides. And now that I have done this, I can just continue writing more pages and just put more and more into this journal until I'm done with it. Just like that. 